All right, my friends, welcome JR Dudes at your service. Welcome, and I want to wish everybody a very happy Memorial Day. We need to definitely recognize before we get into today's subject that this is all about not so much being with our family and friends and barbecuing or whatnot. This day is about all the men and women who have sacrificed their lives for your freedom, for my freedom, frankly, so we can have the free speech that we're engaging in right now here today. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you who are current, active, or retired service members of the U.S. Armed Forces, and I personally salute each and every one of you. May God bless you and your family. Today, we have another little great story pertaining to our former favorite president, Donald Trump. What would a holiday be without a statement on True Social from former president Donald Trump? Donald Trump, of course, is kind of like the 4th of July. When he comes out with his platform statements, you know they're going to be loud. They're going to make a big bang and they're guaranteed to get everyone's attention. And today, Donald Trump did not disappoint. We definitely have a whopper for you to look at with me today. We need to talk about this before the mainstream press, the legacy media has their two cents to say and goes all over television the rest of today and tomorrow and tells each and every one of us what a loose cannon Donald Trump is because we know that's not true. They just never get it, folks. These woke Democrats, these woke liberals, they just will never understand why Donald Trump has the appeal that he has. We may not always agree with everything he says or even like the way he says certain things, but we know Donald Trump speaks for each and every one of us and we can feel his frustration. Who would not be frustrated considering all the lawfare against former President Donald Trump that's going on and seemingly never stops? They're trying to take this man's money. They're trying to put him in prison. They're trying to make him a felonious individual. I would be raging and upset. And of course, Donald Trump Trump always says what's on his mind. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at his post today on True Social. This is President Donald Trump's post today. You can see that he's definitely thinking of the men and women that are in our armed forces. And the caption here says, we can never replace them. We can never repay them. But we can always remember. Today, that is what we are doing. We remember President Donald Trump. Amen. Now here is the Funny tweet today is what I like to call it. His funny post on True Social. Happy Memorial Day to all, including the human scum that is working so hard to destroy our once great country. To the radical left, Trump-hating federal judge in New York that presides over, get this, two separate trials that awarded a woman who I never met before. And in quotes, he's, or parentheses, he's got a quick handshake at a celebrity event 25 years ago. Doesn't count. $91 million for defamation. She didn't know when the so-called event took place. Sometime in the 1990s, never filed a police report, didn't have to produce the dress that she threatened me with. It showed negative and sung my praises in the first half of her interview with Allison Cooper, but changed her tune in the second half. Gee, I wonder why. And he goes on under appeal in all caps. The rape charge was dropped by the jury or Arthur Anderson, the New York state wacko judge who fined me almost $500 million under appeal, of course, for doing nothing wrong, used a statute that has never been used before, gave me no jury, Mar-a-Lago at $18 million, now for merchant. So obviously, President Trump is not happy. And he's right. This judge, I call him Judge Angeron. He valued Mar-a-Lago incorrectly at just $18 million, which of course at the time, as we talked about in this channel many times, was simply the tax assessment amount, which is completely different than the actual retail value of the Mar-a-Lago property. He's also calling out E. Jean Carroll. We remember sweet E. Jean Carroll. We'll pop it up on the screen right here. This was Two different lawsuits pertaining to alleged defamation and which is currently under appeal. So you can imagine based on this post, you're going to hear a lot about this today, tomorrow, probably for the next week. You're going to hear former President Donald Trump is deranged. He's unhinged. He's a loon. Hey, listen, he says what's on his mind and that's just fine by me. And then, of course, left-leaning Newsweek magazine that you see on your screen right here. We're looking at their online edition. Donald Trump attacks E. Jean Carroll in Memorial Day post. Former President Donald Donald Trump attacked columnist E. Jean Carroll on Memorial Day on True Social. Happy Memorial Day to all, including the human scum that is working so hard 
to destroy our once great country and to the radical left. Trump hating federal judge in New York that presided over, get this, two separate trials that awarded a woman who I never met before other than a quick handshake, a celebrity event 25 years ago doesn't count. $91 million for defamation. He goes on, the, the article goes on to say, last year, the New York City jury found Trump liable for defamation and sexual abuse against Carol, awarding her $5 million in damages in January. A separate jury found Donald Trump liable for defamation over remarks he made criticizing Carol and denying Carol's claim that he had sexually assaulted her in a changing room at Berghoff Goodman in the 1990s. Carol was awarded an additional $83.3 in damages. Folks, when you have these crazy New York liberal juries that hate Donald Trump, these are the results that you get. Frankly, I can't blame President Donald Trump for coming out swinging like this. Who would not be very upset if you were in this exact situation? This particular E. Jean Carroll, whatever her name is, folks, you got to understand, this case is so old and from such a long time ago, back in the 1990s, she never even knew the year that this alleged attack, this alleged rape ever took place. It's hard to get your mind around that, isn't it? That a man can be ordered to pay $100 million or so, whatever the actual judgment is for alleged statements that he made today pertaining to an attack allegedly back in the 1990s and the alleged victim does not even know when the so-called attack took place absolutely outrageous and in case you're wondering the way they got around the statute of limitations is the liberal nutty state of new york passed a law i think it was 2020 in which they have basically extended the statute of limitations pertaining to the sexual assault type cases as part of this me too movement type of stuff going on and this is the result folks they opened the door allowed people to start bringing in suits from way back when and this is the reason why you have so many famous wealthy men being sued is because of these laws, specifically in New York State. I want us all to remember this. We may not always agree with everything former President Donald Trump says. We may not even like something he says. But you have to understand where this man is coming from and understand it's not so much each and every post he makes or every word that comes out of his mouth. We have to base our vote for Donald Trump on his actions. And I want you to think of it this way. On your screen is an item I found online that I think puts it perfectly. Trump may have hurt your feelings, but Biden is hurting your family, your finances, and your freedom. Amen. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I think you can understand where Donald Trump is coming from as far as his outrage, his pain. Personally, I find it humorous. I have no problem with it. It may not be words that I would say. However, I'm not Donald Trump and I have not been sued for the type of money he's been sued for, nor have I been thrown in prison, or at least they're trying to throw him in prison because he's trying to become the next president of the United States. I think I would be outraged too, and I'm sure you would be. Folks, if you're still with me, might as well hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to like, subscribe, send this video to one of your indoctrinated family members, friends, someone that may benefit from this message. So at least they can make up their own minds about who to vote for in the upcoming election. It's very important that each and every one of us do our part to bring about change, to bring about common sense and put a stop to this nonsense, this wokeness that is going on in our great country. Appreciate you joining me today. It's truly a pleasure. Allow me to come in, have a conversation with you. If you ever need me, be sure to reach out at the number on your screen, text, email, whatever. Like to always say, keep that mind free, never give up. And until next time, my friends, I am J.R. Dukes.